Well, hello, hello, all my crafty friends. Welcome back to part two of our Altered Book series. Um, I thought I was recording before, but I wasn't. So I started gessoing the cover in white, and then I changed my mind. I'm going to make this a Halloween journal. So how fun is that going to be? So I decided I'm going to go back over it in black, and that's when I realized I wasn't recording. So let us finish doing the cover in black. So I have my black gesso here. So I'm just going over the cover very lightly. I think I'm even adding a little bit of water to it to thin it out to make it a little bit lighter black because I kind of want it like scary looking um, grayish, you know, like haunty. And I think with the crinkle of what we did with the napkin, we're going to achieve that look. So I think this is going to be an awesome cover for our Halloween journal, altered book. So I'm just dipping my brush in a little bit of the black gesso, um, or you can use black acrylic paint. My gesso is actually called acrylic gesso. So it's acrylic paint with um, the grit or whatever is used to make gesso. So you could just use black acrylic paint or any color you would want you know, your cover to be, of course. You can use this technique with any style, of course. Um, so how's everybody doing? I hope everybody had a good day. My day was fairly good. It was a little stressful, but all days when I work are stressful. So, um, got a lot done today though. So that's good. Um, so you see, I'm just kind of going every which way. I'm not really following any grain or anything like that. So I think that about does it for the cover. No, I do want to go around the edges. Now, what I did was I took some sandpaper. This is 150 grit. And I just took that and I went around my edges to get the napkin so it was smooth. So now what I want to do is take the black paint and just go around the edge of the book. See, I'm just going along the edge there just to color that in because it, it's already gray, but I just want, I just want that black border. Um, I think I'm going to use a smaller brush. There we go. And I'm just using the lid as a palette. So I'm just going, going to go over all the edges. I'm trying not to get it on the book pages, but if it gets on the book pages, it's not a big deal, really. Because I think I'm going to go over those with black soot, distress ink, and distress them all. Anyway, so... If I get a little black paint on them, it won't be the end of the world. So I'm just going to keep doing this. And I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. And I'll be right back. Okay. So I went ahead and did all the edges. So all of my edges are black now. And I also went ahead and inked with my black soot all my page edges. So now those are all black as well. Um, as I go through and do my papers, I will add more black soot to the pages. So now that that's done, we can start laying our papers. So um, for the cover, I was thinking, or for the inside cover, I was debating on one of... several different pages. So I'm using this collection mostly, which is from Hobby Lobby, I don't know, from, uh, from Michaels. So I have a lot of this collection still, which is very cute collection. 
So I am thinking maybe we do for the cover. One of these. Or we could do. I really like this one. It's got the spiders and the moths. So let's do that. The front cover. That's got spider webs on the other side. So I don't think I want to use the other side. So then that'll go on there like that. And then you'll have the black border around it. Isn't that pretty? And then the outside will decorate later once I get an idea for that. But, um, yeah, I think that's, I don't know. Now I can't decide. Um, I was originally thinking this one with the labels and then folding it up for a pocket. I think I will do that. I think we'll save the butterfly one or the moth one for inside page somewhere. All right, so let's do this. So I'm going to use this for that and this, and then we'll do something else on this side. So let me go ahead and cut that down and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I did was I went ahead and made a template of one of the book pages so that I would have that and I wouldn't have to measure every time. So there we go. So I have the one for the front and the one for the back cover. And then for this side, I think we will go ahead and use this one. Happy haunting. Oh, that's a little busy. Um, I do have an eyeball page. That might be pretty cool. I'm just looking through the paper pad to see what I have here. I think I might just use this, just some plain black. Not sure though, because that is the front. That is like the first page of the book. So what do we want to use there? Maybe just some orange. That might be kind of cool. There's also that. I think I'm going to do this orange only because I'm thinking I could possibly do like a This Book Belongs To stamp on there or something. We can always put a pocket too, which this book is going to have a lot of pockets. So let me just see what else we have available here real quick. We've got some pumpkins, some candy corn. Oh, there's this one. It says Happy Halloween. Let's see. This way there's no, this is a Halloween journal. I love it. Okay, so Happy Halloween it is. I'm going to go ahead and cut this and be right back. Okay, well, I'm back and I've got the two pages glued down. So when we open our book, so our outside cover looks like this all painted up and just love the feel of that. I don't know if the crinkle is coming through in the picture, but from the napkin that we put on there. So we've got that. Then we've got our two front pages in. Um, so then we have to work on what we want to do and I still need to glue this back page on. So I'm going to call this a video. I think that's, um, so we did make our template. Um, from one of our book pages for all of our pages so we can just cut and paste should be perfect for all of our pages yes and then we'll come back and start decorating so um, I'll probably pick out some 
um, pages to do up the rest of the book with and then um, we'll be back to do some decorating thanks for watching and i hope everyone is having a grateful day and we'll see you next time Bye bye